pass protection right now. Do you guys feel like you're where you need to be, or is there still some improvement to do? Uh, we have a lot of improvement to do, you know, uh, week by week. We still see, like, some mistakes we're making in practice going up against our D-line, so we're still improving every week, you know. You can never be good enough here. Jamarco, what do you see out of uh, J.J. Watt's little brother? Uh, he's a good player, you know. He's uh, the, like a walkout linebacker, DN type of guy. He's a pretty good pass rusher. He's good with his hands and stuff, so we have our work cut out for us. You know, we have to come with a game plan and make sure we execute and use our techniques and stuff. How much more difficult is it for to, to block a guy like that who they – I think they stand him up all the time. He's never got his hand on the ground. And I don't know how much of that you guys have seen. Is it make it any diff more difficult for you guys to block you guys? It's like just that? a different technique there. Uh, defensive linemen use some stand up, some uh, have a hand on the ground. So, you know, we just got to make sure, like I said, we just use our techniques and stuff. Since nobody on this team has ever played at Camp Randall, have you talked to any older players that played there or talked well, to anybody that? I've visited there when I was a recruit, uh, and it was for a pretty big game. So I know how loud it can get and what their fan base is like so uh, it should be a very fun environment to go into and play those guys are going to be ready they're a good team and you know their crowd's always pretty crazy and loud so it should be a fun game have you told your have you told your teammates about what your trip was like and what the game atmosphere was like yeah i've talked to some of the o-linemen about it you know uh somebody else i can't remember who had been there before too so you know just it's like oklahoma was that that was pretty loud there uh, Penn state my freshman year was really loud as well so you know we've had a couple games on the road where we know what to expect. Marco, when you're going against a uh, rush defense like Wisconsin's and you've got Mike Weber and Curtis Samo there behind you, does that put even more pressure on you in the offensive line? Yeah, for like, pass just, pro just, or? Just to create lanes for them. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, it's because uh, we know at any time, you know, those guys can take the ball to the house. So, you know, it's, it's fun blocking for guys like that. You know, it makes you go hard every play because you never know. You don't want to be that guy that let their man beat them and be the reason why we didn't score a touchdown on that play. But it's fun blocking for guys like that because you never know when they might go to the house 80 yards or something like that. You guys have only given up three sacks so far this season. Just uh, is that where you hoped you'd be? I mean, that seems like a pretty good uh, number, less than one a game. Yeah, you know, we've been doing a pretty good job, you know, uh, all five of us. You know, I think we have a little bit of rhythm with each other now. But we just got to keep improving that. You can never, you know, rest on what you did last week. We got to keep improving. And going up against our D-line in practice every day helps that a lot because those guys are great.